practice report, Elkhorn South. Uh, storm return a lot, so let's just get right to it. A lot of names to run through here for you. The known Carson Rauner returns at quarterback. He had 1,602 yards passing, 13 touchdowns, 468 rushing. Look for him to maybe use his legs a little bit more. Uh, this year I feel pretty good about uh, Rauner and, and the quarterback options. Madden Riggs back up uh, for Rauner uh, at least for this year. So um, really – you know, solid known. I think if you follow Elkhorn South football, you you know Carson Brown is pretty good. Defensive back is another one that is pretty good. The depth is really there. Same with wide receiver. I'll get to that in a minute. But Riley Hodges, Landon Tate, Aiden Stratus, and Air Force commit Stratuses um, should should fill in kind of that back end, I guess, of uh, the defense. Offense linebacker is another a position group that you really like. And and again, there's a lot of depth there. Um, Landon Wemoff had two tackles for loss last year. He's a senior this year. He's going to step into a much bigger role, I think. Ethan Duda is an outside linebacker. McCorder Geezer, I'll get to him too. As he's a junior, and and those are the three kind of main guys at, at linebacker that you really like. They run really well, pursue really well. Um, at least at practice, that's what I saw. Uh, offensive line, lot returns. Uh, Austin Stroh, center returns. Ashton Murphy is going to play both ways, the Nebraska uh, recruit or commit. Um, ben Gustafson in Northern Illinois commit. Cole Mackey, Parker Thornton. They're all seniors. They're all big. Elkhorn South just has big guys. But I like that group. I like the offensive line group. Didn't see a ton of them at practice today, but, but definitely the size is there, and, and they move really, really well. Now to the unknowns. Uh, well, you got to start with running back because Cole Ballard's pretty good. Um, if you know anything again about Elkhorn South, Cole Ballard was the man for the last couple of years. Um, so, but they have two backs that I think are pretty good, and some other guys that could work in. But the two main guys uh, uh, are senior Brody Busquet, uh, really fast. He he spelled kind of Ballard last year a little bit, and. Uh, had some nice production, and Gavin Shanahan, a junior, is another name at running back that looks to be uh, in that conversation as well and, and probably will get reps because they use multiple running backs all the time. Uh, wide receiver is another little bit of an unknown just because you lose production. Jackson Muller swan graduated. He was the team's leading receiver with 585 rushing yards and seven touchdowns, but there is a lot of names at wide receiver, and they feel really good about it. Let's go pass catchers, I guess. Ethan Duda, tight end, Air Force commit, really nice player, great size, great length, Could should be able to catch some balls, displaced tight end kind of thing. Uh, Luke Hoskinson caught some really tough passes across the middle from that slot receiver position. Um, Jaden Succo is a, another name that's going to probably play a lot in the slot. Dylan Kingston, um, Aiden Stratus. Uh, is another one in that conversation as well. Defensive line is uh, – it's an unknown because they lost Noah Bustard and Maverick Noonan, but their defensive line is pretty good as well. But how do you replace that uh, production? That's why it's an unknown. Ashton Murphy was pretty much unstoppable today in the inside run portion and um, – really going to get after the passer a lot. I think he's going to have a really big year on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, Henry Porhaska is going to be opposite him. They run that Elkhorn South, no surprise. They run that three-fourths. They're going to be the two um, kind of end tackles there. Uh, Cooper Perrin is a sophomore that should get a lot of playing time at, at defensive line. Really like that size there. Cole Mackey is another one. Tristan Brewer uh, is also a sophomore. Um, that uh, should should be able to be in that rotation as well. As far as breakout guys go, there's two. Um, Ty Nielsen, wide receiver, safety, another wide receiver, kind of defensive back guy um, that I think has a chance and the coaches are excited about. But McCorder Geezer, junior, he's a junior linebacker, like I said, well, get to him. His size is great. He runs really well. Um, there's a lot to like about McCorder Geezer. I think he... That's why I think he's going to be the breakout guy um, this season for Elkhorn South. A guy, breakout, again, guy that you kind of maybe don't know that name, but he has a chance to have a pretty special season and, and really be a name that uh, people need to, to pay attention to going forward and, and in this season and even after it as far as recruiting is concerned. That'll do it from Elkhorn South.